on Tuesday we did this really cool activity where we were doing this mock Knesset. So uh, all these different groups were different parties. So for example, my group was Yeshatid, which uh, which was a party in the Knesset, and I was pretending to be um, Yair Lapid, which is the head of that party. And so uh, my group ended up winning actually, and we then we had to form a coalition, and it was really cool learning about the Israeli government and how the whole uh, system works. When I first went into like this party, like I ended up thinking one thing about it, but then I ended up like realizing that like realizing so much more about the party and like actually learning about the political si political system and like how like people actually get to play a role in it. So during the Knesset game, I was part of the Israel Beitenu party. Um, it was really interesting to see the different politics and how different people view different issues in Israel. I didn't necessarily agree with all the politics or different issues, but I thought it was really interesting experience to see the different sides of all the arguments. Um, so today we heard from four different speakers. Uh, one was someone who lives in Gush Etzion. Another was uh, a right-wing speaker who lives in Efrat. Another one was a soldier who works in the West Bank. Another one was a Palestinian speaker who's a, who's a Christian Palestinian. Um, and how it left me today was feeling how these issues are even less black and white than I thought. I always knew that they were complicated, but it just raised so many more issues and so many different suggestions. This might be you as Americans, we actually need internationals, especially as Jews, who really could, could understand the Jewish narrative as a religion, knowing that this is this is the holy land, the way of the mother. I think this is where we, we need you to put more sense in, in, in the heads of both people, of Palestinians and, and Israelis, to find a way. <laughs> Um, so today was probably one of the most interesting to you, Eam. Um, in particular, hearing from the settler, and then almost immediately afterwards hearing the contrasting view of a Palestinian. And what's really interesting is that they both want peace, but their ideal and their solution for peace are so drastically different. And that, that's really an eye-opening insight into the way um, the conflict is structured. Ma shabishli shalom, le chazomil chama.